The world is full of natural phenomena. Some of them are known and some are not known by many people. Today in this section we are going to talk about a natural phenomenon that many people do not know about. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are interested in global events and climate change, welcome to the State of Planet channel. When you think of the atmosphere, you probably think of gases like nitrogen and oxygen, the air we breathe. But did you know that the atmosphere can also contain an entire flow of water? Atmospheric fluxes are long, flowing regions of the atmosphere that carry water vapor across the sky. They are about 250 to 375 miles wide and can be over 1,000 miles long. Onshore rivers generally flow downstream. Atmospheric fluxes flow in the direction of the moving air created by weather systems. Generally, they capture water vapor from the warm, humid air of tropical regions and allow water to fall to earth as rain or snow in colder regions. What is atmospheric flux? Atmospheric flux is a cloud of moisture that helps carry saturated air from the tropics to higher latitudes, creating relentless rain or snow, typically 250 to 375 miles wide. Atmospheric flows can be over a thousand miles long, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. In the western United States, they account for 30 minus 50 percent of annual annual precipitation. Although atmospheric flows are an extremely important source of precipitation, they can also cause flash floods, landslides, and landslides, sometimes killing people and destroying property. When atmospheric fluxes flow through land, they can create hurricane-like conditions with intense and rapid rainfall, cyclonic winds, and dramatically increased wave heights, NOAA says. Ten or more atmospheric fluxes can occur simultaneously around the world. A well-known and powerful one is the Pineapple Express, which is used to transport moisture from the tropical Pacific around Hawaii to the west coast of the United States and Canada. The eastern half of the United States also experiences atmospheric flows, with moisture being drawn from the Gulf of Mexico. Atmospheric fluxes are more common on the east coast than the west coast, said Jason Corder, associate professor of meteorology at Plymouth State University. They just don't have that much impact and don't usually produce that much fallout. Western Europe and North Africa are often affected by atmospheric fluxes, as are New Zealand and Australia. 